Good evening. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to the 2024 Bamfa Student Committee Film Festival. My name is Ian, and I'm the Bamfa Student Committee's film chair. We're excited to welcome everyone to our sixth annual film festival and welcome our student filmmakers tonight in person. I'd like to first thank all of our filmmakers for their beautiful works, as well as the Bamfa Student Committee film chairs, Dasha Pepler and Annika Tomte, um, Kate McKay, Sean Carson, Nat Rees, and the entire Bamfa team for your gracious guidance to help make this event happen. The Bamfa Student Committee Film Festival highlights a range of student-made films from Berkeley and across the entire Bay Area. We're excited to receive the most submissions that we've ever had for the film, make, uh, for the film festival this year, and we're truly taken aback by the breadth of talent that these aspiring filmmakers have. This year's program of shorts speaks to a variety of themes encompassing the extremities of life and identity, the complexities of relationships, and the experience of reconciling with memory along multiple temporal and spatial scales. The 14 shorts screening tonight include documentary shorts interrogating belonging and citizenship in the, way, in the wake of sociopolitical issues and reveal vibrant linguistic and artistic communities here in the Bay Area. Animated shorts include creative depictions of the experience of loneliness and imagine nostalgia, coming of age, and queerness, telling stories about relics of people, places, and things that are remembered and lost. Experimental and narrative shorts interweave archival and crafted footage to pay homage to vanished spaces and how the resilience of communities that thrive beyond the physical confines of their past. Incredibly visceral, each of these short works engages the audience in the texture of their distinct style and unmistakable personality. Several of the films reckon with identity, memory, and the importance of how individuals relate to their communities and environments. We invite you to think about how these films both investigate and expose voices on the margins of communities and hope that you can both learn from and, trans and be transported to the unique world of each film. Directly following the screening tonight, the filmmakers will be invited on stage, um, along with Bamfa Student Committee Chairs Dasha and Annika, to introduce themselves and, stay, and say a few words about their films and upcoming projects. We invite you to stay to recognize the filmmakers and reflect on their works. Finally, we'd like to thank the filmmakers tonight for their hard work and creative energy that each of you put into your films. We couldn't be happier to display all of your work tonight. Now, without further ado, we thank you for your attendance and hope that you enjoy the films tonight. Wow, what an amazing film fest for 2024. Can we get another round of applause for our truly spectacular filmmakers? Thank you so much. These films serve as a testament to the inspiring work of Bay Area student filmmakers, actors, animators, and artists working today. And for that, we are truly grateful. Thank you so much. Next, we invite all the filmmakers to join us up here on stage. We wanted to sincerely thank you all for your hard work. Uh, and you also you can come up, up on stage at this moment. We appreciate your willingness to so beautifully share your unique perspective through your films. They all truly blew us away and we are so excited to hear more about you. Now each filmmaker will give a quick introduction of themselves and any upcoming projects for us all to look forward to. Um, hi, I'm Lark. My film was Another Day at the Park, which was the stop motion one. Um, yeah, I guess it was kind of inspired by this one day where I was at the park and there was kind of this like shared field of kids playing soccer and also these like elderly people doing Tai Chi. Um, and the audio was like a mix of personal voicemails I've accumulated over the past few years and a few of them are archival. Um, 
In terms of present projects, I'm just working on my friend's short film right now. Um, but that's it. Um, hi, my name is Jaden Earl. My film was Winter Months of Rest. Um, I'm currently a student at California College of the Arts. This semester, I'm working on a film called, um, <laughs> oh my god, I'm blanking. Um, <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for everyone here. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Gabriel. I'm Emrys. Uh, and we co directed uh, Lost in the Woods, the black and white documentary film. Yeah. Do you want to say something about it? Uh, Patrick was a friend, a uh, family friend of Gabe's, and uh, we heard about his performance and we thought it was just this little thing that he was doing at this uh, community of unhoused people in Oakland and we decided to go and film it and it turned into something that was a lot bigger than we ever thought it would be. Yeah, when we started out it was just going to be a film about his performance. Yeah. Just kind of sat on the edit for a while, kind of procrastinated <laughs> and realized that it, you know, could, we could expand our idea to be more about who Patrick is and what his art is about. Hi, I'm Laura. I worked on Living Dictionary Aymara while at UC Berkeley. Um, huge fan of poetry and meaning, so it was really wonderful to work with people who had a deeper understanding of meaning. Hi, my name is Drew Wei. I'm Laura's classmate, uh, also at UC Berkeley. And um, so I hope made uh, the way they carry with Grace here um, about the, doc the documentary about the veterinarian thing. And um, yeah, so I still currently works at Berkeley and uh, my current project is about the, this cat village in Taiwan. And hopefully that will be here sometime. Um, I'm Grace. I did the veterinarian doc, also their classmate. Um, and right now I'm working on uh, distributing my film with like educational audiences. So yeah, so to raise awareness and make an impact. Um, hi, I'm Jaru. Uh, I'm a graduating senior at UC Berkeley, majoring in film and media. And my film was Mama. That was actually my grandmother and not my mom. <laughs> um, this film uh, was just kind of like an everyday uh, for my grandmother taking care of um, her father. And I thought it would be great to capture this moment before he passed. And unfortunately, he did pass uh, earlier this year. Um, at 101, so um, I'm just glad that everyone's here to enjoy this with me. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Chris. Um, my film was Slave Castle, and um, I was thinking about ancestry a lot when I was making this film. Um, these castles in Ghana, um, while many people in the black diaspora can't trace where in Africa they're from, high chances are their ancestors went through these castles. So I was thinking a lot about remembering ancestry and kind of what's lost after visiting um, for so long. So it took like three months of gathering archival material and um, I'm glad you guys got to see it. Uh, hi everybody, my name is Flor Barbolejo. Um, I'm a student at San, Fr San Francisco State and um, my film was from here. And it's sort of about two different things. It's about, um, I guess, like cultural myths and sort of um, hyphenated Americans' access to their culture. Um, and then also I sort of used it to, um, I guess, tell a story um, using that language about um, the disappearance of somebody close to me. Um, and currently I'm working on just personal projects and editing on my friends' films. Hello, um, my name is Katarina Fink, and I'm a San Francisco State student, and I made the animation Gloaming. Um, that was by a poem assignment, and um, it's uh, based off of a 
Victorian parlor song called Star of Love that I had covered as a robot for some reason on an album I made. So I thought it'd be a good idea to animate it. And um, yeah, so uh, I just love robots and I, I really wanted to portray um, you know, uh, characters that people don't really see having emotion, having emotion, um, and that they can love too. Um, and some future projects I'm working on right now is my current thesis uh, dedicated to my late grandfather and also my um, uh, indie project called Night Grip. All right, amazing, thank you all. And then we also have a message from Chris who made the war. Um, he wrote, the Russian invasion of Ukraine has forever changed the life in both countries, but also those of the people with Russian heritage around the world. The US has one of the largest Russian diaspora populations. Some came after the collapse of the Soviet Union, others left their country as Putin rose to power over the past decades. My colleague Mika and I wanted to tell a story about the war from their perspectives, and this film is how they responded to their identities and the ongoing conflict. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much um, for all the wonderful filmmakers again. And thank you for joining us tonight. We hope you felt inspired by the films and leave the museum tonight with new insight and reflection. We invite you all to check out future events hosted by BAMFA on the BAMFA website or on the student committee Instagram, such as our upcoming BAMFest on April 27th from two to five on Crescent Lawn. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night, everybody.